I've been waiting to open this bag. Oh man, Dad, could you strain this for me? Okay. If you have a bet ripcord, don't straighten it like this weird guy. We've got a tip to show you a better way to straighten your ripcord for a better launch. And the weird guy will make something to help us. You mean the dad. Whatever. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna be making a block that's gonna hold the Beyblade rip cords. And no, I'm not cutting the rip cords in half. I'm just cutting down a block here that's gonna hold three separate rip cords. A couple quick cuts with my table saw, and I have three grooves. Each one's gonna hold a separate rip cord. And now that I know that everything fits, I'm just gonna cut down this block with my bandsaw to make it a little bit more manageable to hold. The final block will be about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. I now have a top and bottom piece that I'll glue together that'll be able to hold each of the Beyblade rib cords captive. Not that kind of captive. I don't need a whole lot of glue, but I need to carefully spread it just on the edges and make sure that I don't get any glue down into the grooves. If any of that glue dries in the grooves, it could be really difficult to either put in or take out the rip cords and could damage the rip cords too because the glue dries pretty hard. You could use just about anything to hold these together. You could use rubber bands, um, any kind of clamps that you have. I have some spring clamps here that I'm just using. It only takes about 20 minutes for the glue to set up and I can take off the clamps and it's pretty much done. I can leave it like this if I wanted to, but I want it to be a little bit smoother and pleasant to the touch. So a couple of minutes will be built sander, and I can smooth off all the harsh edges and make sure to avoid any nasty splinters. Now I could just leave the wood grain look, but I want it to look a little bit better, and so I spray paint the whole thing black. And for one finishing touch, I have a really cool machine that'll carve into just about any surface. So I thought it'd be cool to carve in the Beyblade Burst logo into the side of the block. Now that we have a place to put our rip cords, we're gonna show you our method for straightening them. It might be similar to what you've seen before with a couple small differences. First thing you need is two cups. One to hold hot water and one to hold cold. You need your rip cords that you're gonna be straightening. We have our rip cord holder but we're also going to be using a drinking straw. In the first cup, you need a hot liquid. Now you could heat up water on the stove, but be very, very careful. It's hot and you could burn yourself. Please get your parents permission before doing this. Or in our case, the water from our faucet in the kitchen is hot enough and it's plenty hot to make our rip cords flexible. You only need to let the ripcord set about three to five minutes and they are flexible enough to go ahead and straighten. Be extremely careful when taking them out of the hot water. You could once again burn yourself. That's why we're using tongs here. When taking them out, we're placing them directly in the straw. If you're gonna try this method, try to find a drinking straw that's not gonna warp or twist. And it's gonna maintain its shape when you move it from a hot liquid to a cold liquid. Once you have them both secure, go ahead and drop it into the ice water. I like using the straw because we can actually straighten two cords at once by putting one rip cord in each end. And you can see it's already noticeably different. If you need it straighter than this, you could go ahead and repeat the process again. But this is straight enough for the way that we usually use them. And you should notice a pretty significant difference when launching. Once you take them out, we dry them off briefly and then put them straight into the rip cord holder. This does help straighten them a little bit more, but also helps to make sure that they don't bend more over time. The block and holder is really nice and convenient just to have all the rip cords in one place. And it'll work equally well for the old rip cords as well as the new switch strike rip cords. 
Once all that's done, you're ready to battle. I'm finally ready to battle. Dad, it really worked! Well, of course it worked. Hey, Dad, now straighten the rest. What? Well, we hope you had a lot of fun watching the video. Oh, we have a bunch of other good videos on this channel. We have more Geek Builders Junior videos coming and more Beyblade related content, so stay tuned. <laughs> and follow us on Twitter. That's right. And follow us on Instagram plus subscribe. Take care. See you next time. Three, two, one, let it. Wait.